Hello all. Hi, I'm again here with Sharik. And in this session today, we will explain one business scenario related to EWM. Okay. And the business scenario is about how do we receive goods at different storage area or storage type based on the different materials. What it means is that if one product company manufactures a couple of products and one product is received at the door as per the setting in the warehouse setup and the other product is received at the GRC. Okay. So system should automatically understand where the goods will be received. That is a business scenario. So how do we do it in the system is something we will show uh, today. But before we get into the system, uh, I will just try and explain how do we do it in the system. Okay. So there is uh, something called WPT, warehouse process type. Okay. So in the warehouse process type, you assign the warehouse number, EA, EWM document type, item type, delivery priority, and process type indicator. So based on these, uh, based on this determination, system understands where uh, the storage should happen. So I've taken two examples, 3065 and 1010. These are two different process, warehouse process type, which is defined in the system. 3065, both are linked to the same warehouse, same inbound delivery document type. And uh, the only difference is that one warehouse process type, 3065 is assigned to a process type indicator, 01. So this 01 process type indicator is defined in the material master, which tells the material that the receiving is slightly different from the rest of the materials. Because 01 uh, is linked to 3065. Now 3065 warehouse process type, uh, when you go into the settings of the warehouse process type, then you will see that 3065 has a different setting uh, for that storage type. So within 3065, you have uh, a storage type linked to it, which tells where to receive the goods. So in 3065 case, it will be uh, the door, which we will see it in the system. Okay. So that's a business scenario and we are going to look into the system now. Okay. Okay. So uh, you've seen in the scenario that WPT 3065 and the other WPT uh, will be used to receive stock at different location, which is different storage type. So you go to SPRO and under SEM, click on cross process settings. I'll show you in the system and then check for warehouse task. And under warehouse task, you will find warehouse process type and uh, determine, determine or determine warehouse process type. Okay, so let us first see the warehouse process type. Mm -hmm. So we are using US 44. Now US 44 is linked uh, to a couple of warehouse uh, process type. Okay, uh, in our example, we will use this as, uh, as uh, one of the scenario to show you how it is receive and then we will show 1010 to see and show you the difference okay now if if i click on this here you can see the source storage type is 9030 okay and the source bin is door so the idea is when i am using a scenario uh, which triggers 3065 then the source uh, storage type 9030 should be picked Okay, so if I just go back, uh, F3, and then I'll, I'll again explain what is, how do we determine? How does the system know which one to pick? So US44, so here you can see, In US 44, you have 3065 here, second row. 
Okay, and now what is the difference? The product master in EWM is linked to 0, 01. So when it is linked to 0, 01, then it will pick 3065 and 3065 is linked to the storage type which I have just shown. Okay, so now let us, one second, let us see, yeah, and here 1010 on the top. So let us see the product master, how it is defined. So if I go here, keep this open. <clears throat> the product we are going to use is this. Where our number is this. And party entitled to dispose. This, this. <clears throat> and if I go and change. Then uh, <clears throat> if I go on uh, warehouse data. So in the warehouse yeah. data. Currently we don't yeah. have anything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was warehouse data. Okay. So we will define zero one. So now zero one, again, the determination in the warehouse process type determination, zero one is used, is using three zero six five. So we will define that. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> if I go here again, uh, okay. So as you might have seen here, uh, the the warehouse process type 3065 is linked to 01 and warehouse process type 3065 is linked to storage type which we will see in the system uh, here us44 3065 is linked to 9030 okay and what is the other one linked to just remember this nine zero three zero okay and the other one is one zero one zero which is linked to nine zero one zero okay so here what we will do we will add nine zero three zero and nine zero one zero okay so when we receive the goods which is linked to 01 which is the first example then we should expect the wpt 3065 to trigger with storage type 9030 okay so let us do in the system remember this could be a business scenario for you guys because uh, when you're working in a real time example you will have scenarios where each product is not received at the same location okay so let us do in the system so we will create an uh, an inbound delivery for the same material. So let's receive 10 and then uh, okay, we will give the storage location this. Yeah, and then it triggers US4 and then we do same. Okay, well, the delivery cannot be distributed. Wow. So we've we've just created the delivery. There was an error in the background which we fixed. It was not distributed. So we have just distributed the uh, delivery uh, into uh, EWM just by saving it. Okay. So now we will create uh, an inbound delivery in EWM. We'll receive it, I mean, with this transaction code and expect to receive in a different warehouse process type, storage type. Okay. So here, so what was the delivery number? VL51. This is the delivery number one five double two one. Okay. Now here we receive and we see this. Now here you can see process type three zero three zero six five, and bin is uh, door, which is what we have seen in the settings. Okay. So we will just do the good seed. Shall we do it? Okay. 
Okay, now let us create, let us change the uh, settings in the product master and do the inbound delivery again and then see what happens. Okay. Tariq, uh, is there anything you want to add? No, no. You can go ahead. So here we go again, uh, mat one. And then we change. Uh, the virals data and then we remove the process type indicator. Okay, and now we will create an inbound delivery again. Another one. Uh, so in, in this example, we are trying to show by using the same materials, but one material is always used in the door. So you ideally in the real uh, time scenario, you will have two materials uh, with, with different uh, process type and different storage area to receive the stock. Okay, but for us, we're just trying to explain it to you how it works, how the determination of WPT works. Okay, so same material, uh, we will use this, we will receive 10 quantity. Okay, and then so save, it should distribute, distributed 18005 Okay, so now we will go again here and then now you see the process type is changed. So the determination of warehouse process type is working properly. And uh, we've just used as an example of changing the uh, product master by using a process key, which was 01 in the first case and blank in the other case. So likewise, if you have complex scenarios and each like 10 materials and each of the material is received at a different uh, place, a different storage type, then you can use the warehouse process key uh, type as an example to determine the receipt. Okay, I hope this is clear. Lastly, as uh, uh, as a goodwill or as a note, I would like to add more and more such videos. But in return, if you would like like the channel to grow, if you like your videos, which means that you would want me to make more such videos and and uh, have interesting scenarios related to different modules then please like and subscribe so that the channel becomes big and then the videos become bigger okay thank you everyone bye bye